Hey everybody, Eric here from Around To It Videos, and we got another project going on. Now, here's my striker, the brushless striker, great flying airplane, and uh, I had enough spare parts laying around. I decided I was going to make a second one to go along with it, and I'm going with a different paint scheme. I got gray on top and high yellow, high visibility yellow on the bottom. So I want to see that in there real, really well. Also, here's the F-15. It's an EDF jet. You're going to get to see that fly real soon on the Peculiar RC channel. But uh, here's one I wanted to show you today. The push rods for this plane cost $250, and uh, the hobby shop didn't have them. They were out. Now, just on another note, the push rods for this plane is four bucks. Now, I'm going to show you how to make your own push rods today for less than a dollar. All right, now we were talking about the push rods for this plane being four bucks. Now, that's a plane that I got from nitroplanes.com. So for me to actually get the push rods for that plane, I'd have to spend four dollars, then I'd have to probably spend another dollar or two dollars, maybe more on shipping. So you're looking at like six bucks for the push rods on this plane. Now the striker is 250 for the push rods, but like I said, for a dollar, you're gonna learn how to make your own really easy here's a quick fix I'm gonna show it to you right here this is a set of push rods for the super cup now if you look I don't know if you can see that 99 cents now these are very durable sturdy push rods and you can see they're extra long so these come in real handy I buy these all the time when I need a, a set of push rods I can just modify these for whatever I'm doing. And that's what we're going to do today. We're going to modify these push rods to work with my new striker. Okay, I've got everything laid out that I'm going to need to modify the Super Cub push rods to fit on my new striker. You're going to need a, a ruler and a couple of pairs of uh, pliers or needle nose pliers, it doesn't matter. I'm just using needle nose for the video and a pair of uh, snippers, wire snippers. All right, so first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna take a measurement here. Okay, it's about four inches. You can see that from the, the tip of the clevis to where the bend starts. All right, so first thing I'm gonna do, measure it off, and we're gonna cut a little extra here. Uh, we'll say, five inches just to have uh, some spare here so let me go ahead and cut that okay we've got it cut we're gonna go ahead and do the first bend and we need to go back and make sure our measurements are right you know we've got to get these things just right even though you do have play in the the adjuster here on the clevis you know on this end you do have a, a little room for error we just want to make sure we're going to get our first bend exactly right. So I might just take this push rod off the plane so I can get an accurate measurement here. All right, here we go. From the tip of the clevis to the first bend, it is just a Add shy of four inches. Looks like four. Looks like three and seven eighths to me. So we're gonna we're gonna do our first bend like that. All right. Well, we've got our first bend. All I did was take the pliers, put it on the uh, the push rod, and just bend it over. Now we're gonna we're gonna double check and see how close we are to the real one. That's that's pretty good. All right, now to make this second bend, I'm gonna put the camera on a tripod so you can watch me do it. You, they make benders called Z-benders. They're a special type of plier that you can use to do this. I just use needle nose pliers to do it. It's really easy to do and I'll show you how to do it right now. Okay. We've got the, uh, the first bend already now we're ready for the uh, the second bend now this is going to be just a little bit tricky 
trickier since I don't have Z bin pliers. What you want to do, you want to just get your first pair of needle nose, needle nose pliers and hold it. Hold it firm like that. And you can do this with uh, two pair of pliers, you can do it with your hands, however you want to. I usually uh, just use the second pair of pliers and bend it over just like this. Get the bend started and then finish it out with my finger or my thumb. There. Right there, you've got your second bend and we're going to make it the same length on the Z bend as with the other one. So I need to get my wire snippers out and just give it a quick cut here. And there you go. For less than one dollar, I've got a perfect copy of the control push rod for my striker. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video and uh, just remember next time your hobby shop doesn't have your push rod for your plane, go get the Super Cub push rods. They're just as good if you're going for short lengths or whatever. This thing is it's over a foot long, so this comes in handy and it'll work with just about anything that you want to do with it. So anyway, hope you enjoyed the video and we'll catch you later.